Hi, very good evening. In this video, we'll talk about something which is very important, which is known as Bart's persona. So as a marketer, if you're trying to promote your business, let it be search engine optimization or let it be Google ads or LinkedIn or automations or growth hacking. It's very important to understand Bart's persona because this is one of the questions which I always come across, like what exactly is Bart's persona? So in this video, we'll talk about some amazing ways what exactly is Bart's persona. And if you are crafting your own marketing strategy, digital marketing strategy, it's very important to understand the importance of Bart's persona and then using it in real time. Now, in marketing, we often talk about the concept and importance of understanding your target market. But what does that really mean? Market segmentation can only take you so far to truly craft an effective marketing strategy. You need to go a step further and develop Bart's personas. Here's everything you should need to know about Bart's persona and why they are so essential for your marketing success. For example, let's say for example, if you want to promote your business on Facebook and if you started the Facebook campaign, one of the questions that you might always come is what kind of interest you should be targeting? What kind of devices you should be targeting? What kind of placements you should be targeting? Or let's say for example, if you're starting your own Google Ads campaign, it's very important to understand what age group, what interest what uh, movies they like, what interests, what categories your customers like. These are very important questions that we need to understand. We need to ask a lot of questions when we are deciding a customer avatar. Because I'll tell you that if you know avatar in a pretty well manner, you will be able to create a lot of strategies. It's not only about just sticking to you know Google Ads or Facebook Ads, but it will help you a lot, even for customer acquisitions as well. So when we talk about, you know, we talk about Bart's persona, there are a lot of questions that we need to ask number is, who they are, what are their top challenges, what they want to become, what are their pain points, where they are, which magazines they read, which books they read, which movie shows they read. So these are uh, some of the questions that we should be asking it. And then we we'll define all these answers to this question because we'll tell you if you know your audience in a better way, you'll be able to create amazing, amazing strategy as well. So the question is what exactly is a bad persona? Now, a buyer persona is a semi-fictional representation of your ideal customer based on market research and real data about your existing customers. When creating a buyer's persona, you, want, you will want to consider factors such as demographic, behavioral pattern, motivations, and goals, and a lot of things as well. The more detailed you can be, the better. You should also know what are your customers' top challenges, what are the pain points? And we will also need to understand if I want to create all this BATS persona, what all tools I can create? Because I, I can tell you, if you want to create a BATS persona, you need to have a lot of tools. Probably you can do some uh, surveys, you can talk to your customers, you can use Google Analytics if you have good traffic on a website. Or you can use Facebook Ads Manager, you can use Analytics, you can use a lot of tools. And one of the tools which I love to do BATS persona in, investigation, which is Spark Tour. It's an amazing software that does a lot of, lot of heavy lifting. Now, why your Bart's persona is so important? Because I'll tell you Bart's persona is so important because they help you to understand your target market on a very deeper level. With a well-developed persona, you can see your customers as real people with real needs, not just faceless numbers in a segmentation study. This helps you to craft messaging and strategies that are truly resonating with your audience. For an example, if you want to target students, you need to understand what are their top challenges. And if you're offering courses, you should also know how your course is going to add value to them. Because ultimately, it's all about knowing your audience well in advance and adding a lot of, lot of value. Now, the question is, a lot of people always ask me is like, how do I create Bart's persona? So I told you there are a lot, a lot of ways to create Bart's persona. You can use Google Analytics, you can use Spark Thorough, you can talk to your customers, you can talk to your sales team and understand few questions like, like what are the top challenges? What are their, what are their struggles? How they find themselves, you know, and how they define success. So the point is, there's no one fix, you know, one uh, answer or one question, but there are a lot, a lot of questions which helps us to create Bart's persona. The process of creating a Bart's persona will vary depending upon your business and your target market. However, there are some key steps you want to make sure to include. First, identify your ideal customer. Then collect data about this customer through various market research and service or by studying your existing customers. Once you have this data, start putting together a profile that includes information such as 
demographic, behavioral, needs, goals, challenges, devices, movies, cartoon characters they love, applications they download, YouTube channels they follow. We're going to ask a lot of, lot of questions and finally give your person a name, a face so that he or she feels like a real person because that's exactly what he or she is. Now, investing the time and energy into developing Bart's persona pays off in spades. By taking the time to understand your target market on a deeper level, you can craft messaging and strategies that are truly resonating and achieving the results that you want. So what are you waiting for? Go and check the tools that I've discussed in this uh, video session. Feel free to ask me questions because me and my team going to help you if you have any, any questions. And make sure you subscribe our channel because we are creating a lot of, lot of amazing videos and we're going we're gonna to deliver a lot, lot of value. I wish you all the best. Take care. Dream big. And thank you so much.